Hey everyone, um, this is uh, Tunde, and uh, just to give a quick, quick update on what I learned. Um, let me see if my camera is my microphone is working. All right, so uh, just to give a quick picture of what I learned, you know, things I looked into, right? So um, it's been a while since I looked into the Elm project, right? Of course, there's been like a couple of changes in the uh, in the community since I last used it. So today I decided to like just brush. Yeah, I'll say just brush and just brush and talk about Elm generally. Yeah, just talk about Elm. I use um I used uh, this project uh kind to bring up a cluster at 1.16 uh Kumaris cluster and I you know of course after I brought up the cluster, Elm was not installed. I had Elm installed on my system. I installed it from the, the GitHub release. Uh, I, I added the, the stable repo. I then deployed, I didn't deploy the, uh, I didn't deploy my SQL. I deployed um, this thing. I deployed uh, Cubewatch. I don't know if you found out with Cubewatch. Cubewatch is a, um, just think of uh, an application that runs inside your cluster and monitors your cluster for changes and reports those changes and also exports those changes as metrics, Prometheus metric, to be specific, right? So I played the couple of commands, for example, the installation and also how to see information about um, a chart. You know, for example, if, if you run this, you're going to see information about the chart right on your terminal. So you don't have to go to their GitHub page to look at information about the chat. But one thing I really enjoyed was um, not Helm LS. I really enjoyed the fact that you can, you can this keep history command, you can uninstall um, a, a release. You can uninstall a release. Once after you, now before you uninstall it, you can pass on this particular argument and it's going to, it's going to remove the, the release but it's going to keep the history. So anybody can look at the history of your, you can look at the history of your, this thing, of your release, right? So, which is very, very good. I actually tried it. I removed the, um, the, the Cubewatch release. I removed it by pass keep history. Now, the funny thing is if you pass keep history, you can actually roll back your own installation. So if you do a rollback, it's going to reinstall what you've already uninstalled, provided you kept the history. Yeah, that's what I looked into for Elm. It was actually very, very good. It was very good. Then uh, also on the back end, I look into Golang. I look into Go Mod. I look into Go Song, right? A couple of things about it that I picked up, you know, the fact that Go Mod doesn't really work in, uh, in Go Pack. I mean, that one, I haven't really tried it. But that's what I saw in documentation. And also I learned about Go Tidy, right? Go Tidy, it removes unneeded dependency, right? And uh, yeah, I, 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 I learned about that today, which is very, very um, interesting, right? And also, you know, I looked into in the concept of vendor, right? And also I learned today how to actually look up your Go, uh, your Go path. You can use Go environment, Go path, and that should give you the exact location of your Go path. Uh, but of course, by default, it's usually located in your own directory under the Go folder. So that is where it's usually located, but sometimes it will be different in your system. And a more reliable place to look, to find out your Go path is by running Go space EMV space Go path. And that should tell you where your Go path is going to be. Right? I mean, I just look into Go more today. And just to play around also, I looked into uh, the, the database uh, ORM for Go. I haven't really, I mean, I, almost, I haven't really learned a lot about it, right? Um, I looked at their repo. It looks like this particular documentation has not been updated for a while because it's now as, my understanding is it's now a different part now. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong, maybe, uh, I'm sorry, maybe I'm wrong, you know, it's kind of weird, right? Um, right, it's, it's, it's kind of weird. Um, because this, the, this is the path. Uh, 
see this is the part on github right right this is the project itself right and yeah but if you look at the documentation it seems to state otherwise right this is the model itself and but if you look at the documentation it's pointing to this i don't really know why i might be wrong about that um let's let's look at this right it's been okay now it makes sense uh this is um wait 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 wait, wait. yep it's been moved this is the real project itself so this is supposed to be the mod that is being referenced but oh well we we'll see. So I look into this, but I think I'm going to explore the uh, the gene uh, framework, the gene uh, router. I'm really sure if this one is familiar with gene, uh, the gene, uh, yeah. the gene web framework. Uh, where's the GitHub page? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the uh, the gene. Yeah, I'm going to explore this. I'm going to see, explore this further and see if I learn something. So that's what I explained the back end today. Uh, tomorrow, I'm going to explore more and also update the channel. Yeah.